Hey, what's going on everybody? I wanted to do a quick video here before the God Goku celebration ends. Uh, it's up here for just a few more days and I want to go ahead and hop into the exchange shop and look over here at the red coin characters. Uh, this is going to be a who should you get with your red coins character video. I wanted to go over the current available characters in the shop and kind of break down uh, each of these characters where you're like where you can use them. How much use I get out of them, like in like modern time, maybe how close some of these are to easy aing if they already have easy aids. So we're just going to start at the top and go down to the bottom. And then I may do, which, you know, I'm going to tell you to pick one of these, like to prioritize one. We're probably going to hop into like a showcase video of them right after. So uh, stick around for that. Uh, so if you're new, um, you probably don't have too many red coins, but if you've been saving them up for a while and you're trying to decide who you want to pick, and you're looking in the shop, I actually think this is a decent time to spend your red coins. And I think the first unit you want to prioritize here is the LR Vegeta and Trunks. Uh, this unit can be, like I said, awakened into an LR. They lead the Bond of Parent and Child and the Future Category Teams. Uh, it's, uh, that's their 170% buff. And then they give an additional 30% to characters who also belong to the Battle of Fate category. Their 12 key super attack... Um, Raises attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal damage, and then their 18 key stacks attack and defense, um, and also and causes mega colossal damage. So, very powerful um, super attack effects here. So, um, you've got stacking here, and then you've got the one turn raise here. Very good. Go ahead and look at their passive. Um, they get an entrance animation when there's another bond of parent and child category on the team. We can go ahead and take a quick look at that. You can see here that this is a very accessible team. You can see the new God Goku and the new Banner Unit Vegeta are on the team. The new Bardock's on the team. You know, the Kid Goku's on the team. Basically, like, every new... Pretty much every, like, major character, like... Se like I guess, like, super type character is going to be on this category. Um, it's every... I think it's just every Goku, period. I think every Bardock on here is... Uh, or every Bardock, every Goten, every Trunks, every Pan... Um, Chi Chi, I believe, is on here. I mean, you can see down here. Um, let's see Gohan, Trunks, Goten, uh, Goku, and then Vegeta. Vegeta's a little bit tricky. He, the only Vegeta's on here are the ones starting from, I believe it's the AGL Vegeta. Yeah, this one right here from whenever Trunks dies in the Cell Saga. From that point forward, then Vegeta is on the category. Um, yeah, every Pan, every Trunks, Kid Gohan. UI Goku. So this is a very accessible category. We can see here as I'm scrolling through it. Uh, this is a very easy team to build around. There's a lot of free-to-play characters on here. There's a lot of summonable characters on here. There's a lot of, you know, LRs, Dokkan Fest, Banner Units. Like, this is a very accessible team. If you're a new player, highly recommend picking this character up. And then they also have Future as their other leader skill. So you, this is where you can get more of your, like, Goku Blacks on the team. Because, you know, a lot of these characters have crossover. Or, like, not, I mean, not the literal crossover category, but, like, this Trunks, I believe, is on Bond, a parent, and child. Um, uh, like, this Trunks is... Uh, but yeah, like, this Goku's on Bond, a parent, and child. Stuff like that. So there is, like, a little bit of crossover, but it does get your your androids, your Patara fusions, and your Pat Patara characters from the future Trunks saga on here. So um, definitely a good pickup um, is in terms of leader skill. So then we can go back and look at their passive. Like I said, they get a 70% um, two key and defense buff with another bond to parent and child. Very good. That will add to their start of turn buff, which is two key and attack and defense 140%. They just get an inherent additional chance um, to launch, or well, they launch an additional attack that has a medium chance to be a super. That's not tied to their intro buff. And then as they, I believe it's as they get hit, yep, they build up key and defense and crit chance up to five keys, 75% defense, and 35% crit chance with each attack received, an additional attack and defense plus 70% um, as the first attacker. So all of that except for the 75% from being hit will be start of turn. So the 70% intro buff, the 70% in slot one, and then the 140% just start of turn buff. That's all start of turn buff. So if you put them in slot one, they're gonna have a full, um, what is that, 280% defense. And then they can build up another 75%, and that's a multiplicative buff. And then they're stacking, and then you have their 12-key super attack effect. So a very powerful defensive unit that leads a good team that's very accessible to new players. Their active skill down here, you can know you can read the condition on your own, but it does raises out it raises allies defense by 20% for one turn. And it also causes court issues. 
Okay, we're back. Hopefully no more cord issues. Sometimes the cord, I don't know what the issue is. Sometimes it just freaks out. I think it's, oh, it's backwards. Is that why? Hang on. It's hard to see because it's dark. Yeah, it's backwards. Give me a second. Okay, sorry about that. My cord is very particular in the, uh, like, way it wants to be in. But also, this video is already five minutes, so I probably won't be doing a showcase in this video. Be on the lookout, though. I'm definitely going to do a showcase on this Vegeta and Trunks. I don't know why I clicked off of them. Excuse me, I had to cough. Okay, so anyway, um, active skill raises allies' defense by 20% for one turn. Again, that's another multiplicative buff, so these guys can get up to very high defensive levels. You can no-item, I believe, every stage in the game with their team. They lead a very powerful team. Most good characters are on their team. Very powerful unit. Highly, highly, highly recommend you get this character with coins. I don't necessarily recommend dupes, but if you got coins burning a hole in your pocket like I do, it's not necessarily a bad idea. So there are links here. We can go ahead and pull up mine for this. Um, if I go to my box and we look up Vegeta and Trunks, it's probably the fastest way to do this. Just type in the and symbol and then scroll down here. We can look at them at level 10 links. Here we go. So we'll start here with Saiyan Warrior Race. It's just 10% attack. Super Saiyan is 15% attack. Royal Lineage is 2 key and 5% attack. Dismal Future is 2 key and 5% crit chance. Prepared for Battle is 2 key and 5% attack and defense. Fierce Battle is 20% attack, and then Legendary Power is 15% attack um, when you have 12 key. So um, whenever it says, like a link says when performing a two super attack, it doesn't calculate in a separate phase. It just only activates when you have enough key to super attack, okay? So, um, yeah, that's Vegeta and Trunks. Again, very, very powerful unit. Highly recommend you pick them up with coins. Um, the next character that we have here, whoop, if I can get back over to the coins, there we go, is Majin Vegeta. Now, Majin Vegeta is a very powerful unit and actually works really well on the Vegeta and Trunks team. Here's the issue. Majin Vegeta really only works well on the Vegeta and Trunks team. So, if you're, if you, like, let's say you pulled these guys. If you have Vegeta and Trunks and you don't have Majin Vegeta... I can't necessarily recommend that you pick him up with red coins, but I will say that, you know, if you have them and you're looking for, like, another option to fill out your teams with, I do think this Majin Vegeta, he works very well on the Vegeta and Trunks team, and he can be a decent option at 55% because uh, most of his kit is based around damage reduction. And he's just a very defensive character overall. He's definitely not a character that you want to pick up as, like, a hard-hitting unit. Um... Like with that in mind, but if you're just looking for a solid defensive option to fill out your team with, Majin Vegeta is the go-to there. I'm not going to spend as so much time talking about the rest of these characters just because, uh, like Vegeta and Trunks, if you're planning on getting a unit with coins, get Vegeta and Trunks. End of story. Like, if you do not have them, you have the coins to spend, get this unit. Okay, listen, I'm telling you right now, if you do not have this unit and you have enough coins to buy them, buy this unit now, Okay. We don't know when they're going to return next. It could be, like, November uh, for Global, so we, we don't know. And this is definitely a unit you want to have going into, like, Worldwide Celebration, I think. Um, so, next up we have Broly. Now, Broly here is definitely not as good as he used to be. He got a nice 200% lead um, with the God Goku team, but sadly his time has... Um, uh, it, it, it's fallen off a little bit. He released back in 2021. Uh, he was the Saiyan Day unit two years ago. So this year we had God Goku. Last year we had uh, Majin Vegeta. Year before we had this Broly. Now, uh, this Broly is a very good unit for a lot of content in the game. Um, but here's the issues with him, right? Like this leader skill, it, like he doesn't have a... I'll just go ahead and pull up this guy. So he doesn't have a modern leader skill, first off. Like, this is not a leader skill you want to be running in modern content, 2022 content and beyond. Um, he does have a good super attack effect. He's just stacking attack and defense. Very good. And then if you read this, it, this looks like a lot, but what it equates to here is he gets a little bit of damage reduction, then he gets some more whenever he super attacks. Um, and then he can launch some additional attacks when he's facing a pure hybrid Saiyan, so... Um, like, he's definitely a decent option. It's a good character to have in your box, but I don't think you're going to see any use out of this Broly. Um, 
I just, I cannot recommend you pick up this guy. I don't even know what teams you're running him on at the moment. Like, God Goku's team, if you summon for God Goku, right? And, you know, let's say you pulled, um, like, the new banner unit Vegeta 2, and you just, you're able to fill that in with a lot better pure and hybrid Saiyan options that are more modern, probably, than this Broly. This Broly would be, like, you literally have no other units in your box, and you're just struggling to find a sixth character. This guy can kind of hold up in some red zone content, but he's definitely not a character that you want to be relying on. He needs to be babied and built up, so... He, his time, sadly, has uh, has come. He's not really a great option anymore. Next up, we have Raditz. Now, uh, Raditz. If you don't know about this guy by now, um, I, I don't know what to tell you. Raditz is like... I, I have to be careful here, but I do think he is a little, a little, a little overhated. The nice thing here is he is a good leader, right? He leads pure Saiyans in Saiyan Saga... 170% to stats, and then another 30% to space traveling warriors. That's basically his 200% uh, is basically going to be for any, um, like Saiyan Saga Saiyans, essentially. And, um, I believe the Bardock squad is on his 200% leader skill as well. So, it's not like the word, like, he has a good leader skill, honestly. At the end of the day, it's, it's pure Saiyans, right? So, I mean, that's good. The issue is that Raditz himself is just not very powerful. Um, this is definitely like, either the weakest or one of the weakest 200% leaders that we've gotten and um like one of the weakest units they've released since they've switched to the red zone format of content so i i definitely cannot recommend that you get this guy with coins um you know let this is one of those guys you let this guy come to you um he's not needed for like any content in the game at the moment you can get by just fine without him um the only times i've used him is for like meme videos uh so I don't even know that I've used him in that many videos, but yeah, this is this is definitely not a character that you want to spend coin no, coins on. This is a character that you let come to you. Although, I mean, listen, I mean, he, if you want to do it for the meme, I respect it. Okay, um, AGL Bardock here. Um, we're waiting on this guy's easy. Eh? He is bad. Do not buy this guy. Um, he can stack some defense. Uh, that's that's literally all he's got going for him. Uh, he's got a, he actually does have, like, a somewhat modern leader skill, though. I will give him that. Oh, well. No, that's 130% HP. Never mind. I thought it was, uh, key 4, 170% across the board, but it's not. It's 130% HP. Yeah, definitely do not get this guy. Uh, look at that. <laughs> look, look, let, let's, let's, hang on. Let's go back. Let's look at this. Again, you know, I've said in, like, videos before that, you know, length of passive is not necessarily a sign of a new unit, but I do think that it is a sign of an old unit. <laughs> If you can kind of pick up on what I'm saying there, then, uh, I mean, listen, <laughs> we don't, we don't, you don't get this guy with coins. Don't, don't do it. Okay. That's all I'm saying about him. Now, Namek Goku, here's the issue with, like, some of these older Dokkan Fest exclusives now is they're not coming around as often. This guy is a decent option. He's a nice, um, fifth or sixth unit on your team. Um, he does have an easy A. Uh, so, so he is, he has brought been brought up to kind of like that modern red zone standard. I can't tell. I don't know that I recommend getting him with coins, but if you did, I don't think it would be the worst decision ever. Um, the nice thing about him, right, is that he um, he once he transforms, he stacks attack and defense, or just he stacks defense. Sorry. Or is it attack and defense? Hang on, let me go ahead and pull up his easy A so that we can actually kind of evaluate him properly. Um, we gotta go to STR. Goodness, where is he? Uh, here he is. For some reason, I thought he stacked attack and defense on his, uh... No, it's just defense. Okay, and then he lowers attack and defense. That's what I'm thinking of. Okay, so... After he easy A's, he's a very powerful unit. He can guard. Like I said, he stacks defense. Um, he has this nice rage mode, which can help you out in like some like situational areas in the game. Um, like this guy's actually a decent option for the middle cooler core. My only issue with getting like these easy A type units with coins is that usually they don't perform the best at 55%. Like if you don't already already have them rainbowed. I don't know that this is a character that you want to get. Also, I'm going to switch it to this so you can look at this aura. Um, but I don't know that this is a character you really want to get with coins. Um, like, 
he's definitely, if you don't have him, I don't think it's the worst pickup ever. But the only, like, you get this guy, I, I think the order of priority would be Vegeta and Trunks, Maj and Vegeta, and then this guy. I think if you're prioritizing units, like, in the red coin shop at the moment, I think that's the order that we'd want to go in, right? I don't think there was anybody else. So, yeah, definitely them, definitely him. Yeah, and then this guy. So, right now... Like, let's say you have this character, you have this character, and you're just looking to fill out your box, and you don't have this Goku. Uh, he has 400 coins, though. That's a lot. I don't, I don't know that I can tell you to get up to, like, any of these 400 coin units. I don't think I can really tell you. Because, in general, I think that you should just be prioritizing, like, Dokkan Fest exclusive LRs with your coins. But if you're, like, the biggest Namek Goku fan in the world, and you're just, like, really desperate to have, like, another unit to fill out your box... I guess get Goku, but I, I, I don't really recommend it. Um, generally, the way I view coins, I know you're looking at mine going like, you're a oh, super whale, how can you? It's like, I actually do use coins, right? And for me, it's um, like, I'm planning on using coins. A good example is this unit, right? I got very shafted on their banner. I only got them to 55%. So for me, I'm going to use coins probably to rainbow them, uh, depending on what, how my luck is whenever they return. Uh, for the 8th anniversary. Um, but for most players, like, let's say you just didn't pull this unit. I think getting your first copy with coins during the 8th anniversary would be a really smart decision. Um, same thing with Cooler. Because, uh, luckily they haven't really jumped up Power Creep at all. So, you should be able to, like, pick these guys up with coins, right? So, I, I think you prioritize, like, Dokkan Fest exclusive LRs with your red coins. Like, modern ones that can compete in current content. And then you kind of go with um, filler options that you don't have after that. It, it's it gets a little tricky, right? And you can't ever tell, like... Sorry, coughed again. I need to drink more water. But, you know, it's, it's hard telling people, like, who do you spend your coins on? Because I can only really make recommendations, right? Like, if you just really, really, really want Raditz, I'm not going to tell you, no, you can't buy Raditz, you know? Like, obviously, if you want him, buy him. I'm going to tell you that I don't recommend it. I'm going to tell you that I don't think you're going to get much value out of him. But if it's a character that you're missing and you're just, you know, you're just tired of it, you just want to have him in your box, buy Raditz, okay? I'm, I, I'm not going to tell you that you shouldn't. Or, well, I'm, let me rephrase that. I'm not going to tell you that you can't. I am going to tell you that you shouldn't. So, by all means, buy Raditz if you want Raditz. But uh, my recommendation right now is LR Vegeta and Trunks. Be on the lookout for a showcase video on them later today. That should go in my 3 o'clock time slot. Uh, this should be airing on Friday. Happy Friday. Let me know what you guys think about Kale. We just got Kale news. Uh, be sure to vote in the polls about Kale. I've got like three polls running about Kale. There's like two on the channel and one on Twitter. So be sure to check those out. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time.